thought, oh, wouldn't this be a great thing to do as a fundraiser? So, because I love it, I have a passion for the, the old vintage stuff, and so I thought, well, I can redo furniture, I can buy stuff, and I can sell it and raise money for my three days. And then I'll be doing two things that I love at the same time. I, I loved a garage sale, I loved to thrift shop, an estate sale, so when I'm out and about, if I see something I like, I just pick it up and buy it. Um, I My whole house, I think, looks like this. There's stuff everywhere, <laughs> little cluttery stuff. So some of it's upcycled, some of it's just stuff that I've loved, and I said, oh, I love this, it'll be great for the boutique, and then I just collect it, and then if it doesn't sell, it'll clutter up my house. <laughs> um, I found a lump in the shower when I was 39 years old. Um, and I was in the shower and I was like, oh, that doesn't feel right. Um, came out and said, Ross, feel this. And um, he said, I think we need to call the doctor. So we did. And my mom was a two-time breast cancer survivor. Um, so uh, we just, I, you know, it was weird. It was not scary for me. Um, it was just kind of very matter of fact, do this, do this, do this, do this. And my parents were with me the whole time, walking me through it. And Ross and I had um, another friend who has experience with breast cancer in her family. And she walked through it with me. I had tons of um, moral support from a lot of my friends. And I think part of, at least my process, is to spread the word about it. So anybody that I can talk to about it or help walk through it. I, that's just part of what I think, I, I just think you do as a survivor.